All right, welcome back to Jaeger Racing. Today we're doing the test against the Mustang when it's on 100 Treadwear tires versus the 300 Treadwear Federal tires. Play with the car, test it out, see what we can do, generate some lap time. Currently, I did a 129 in the 300 Treadwear tires, and in one session at the beginning of the day, uh, already eclipsed that, obviously, um, to a 126. So I'm pretty happy with that time. It probably could ease down to like a 125, but in stock configuration, with literally nothing else done to the car, stock brake pads, stock everything, um, I think it has uh, the four performance lowering springs or some other type of lowering springs. Um, that's it. So I'm pretty happy with those times. I'm pretty happy to see that delta between the, the good tires for the track versus just good overall street tires. Um, it'll be very interesting as I go forward and actually can do a test with a good 200 series tread wear tire to kind of get the middle ground there. Um, but as we, team, as we move forward, next thing that's gonna happen is gonna end up with some coilovers on the car. And then from there, gonna throw on a bunch of white line parts to make the car really handle how I really want it to do. Um, also have some R1 brakes um, that are coming along and they'll be going on the car because one of the biggest things that I noticed in going to the grip of your tires is the brakes. Um, definitely a situation where the brakes did not feel adequate and really just didn't feel very comfortable as a whole. So that's kind of one of the things that really held me back from lap times. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this car. It definitely has enough power, it has enough oomph. Um, but could use a little bit in the handling department. So we'll get that addressed and we'll go from there. And here we go for a ride on the 126 lap. Okay, so now we're going to look at the data from that track day. So what I have queued up right now is I have the first test day here is a 129.796 and the 126.338. Uh, 
So what this allows us to do is go through and look at, rather quickly, the deltas across the bottom here about where we lost time or gained time. Did better. We did better. So essentially we're able to go and look and say, look, putting on stickier tires probably isn't going to have a huge effect on our straight line speed as long as we weren't you know, spinning tires and so on and so forth. But what it does do is as we go into turn one, it jumps out really quickly at us and says, look, you just are able to better your time by, you know, five tenths. So we're able to look at this here, go into turn one, which I have turn one slated as, well, it's a little bit of a few turns, but just to simplify it a little bit. Um, one of the cool things is I can actually look and see, I actually did a better lap on my second lap and it was a uh, tenth faster. So potentially I know I can go another tenth faster in that sector there. Um, and again, we were able to lose five tenths of a second through turn two. Um, and turn on the straightaway going up the hill, we actually, um, again, two tenths of a second, which I assume that's because we're getting a better drive out. So we're going faster, higher mile per hour, which we can actually look at in terms of up here when you talk about min and max mile per hours. So you're actually able to say in that straightaway, I was able to, you know, gain or lose. Go keep going down this path. In turn three, we're actually able to lose another four tenths of a second. Huge in the bowl here. Next sector there. Four. Only a tenth there, which that's a pretty small area. Might even need to widen that out to get a few more turns in that area. This is huge. Um, that's seven tenths of a second in turn five is what I have it labeled as in this tight twisty area, which makes sense, right? You're talking about you put on way stickier tires and now you're able to traverse corners quicker. Um, makes a lot of sense. So now we go into turn eight, three tenths here, going down into the final corner, turn nine, another five tenths of a second and the bat then the straight there and we uh, lost another two tenths so that's where all of our time came and uh, that's where we were able to better our time by a substantial amount of time what's that three and some change so definitely good there obviously we we did anticipate being able to do a better lap time with stickier tires. Um, but this is something that you can kind of play with and look at, and then you can see exactly where you're getting a lot of the time from. You know, something like in the turn five, f turn five rate region, I wouldn't have expected seven tenths of a second, but now we're able to look at that and actually play with it. Um, we can go back here. We can look at our data throughout this, see how we can pick up the throttle faster. Um, in certain cases, you're able to actually stay on throttle instead of having choppy throttle inputs. So we're able to see that. Um, all this stuff, we're able to look at our engine and kind of we can go and verify some things as it gets warmer, so on and so forth. We can see we didn't have any alarms, so nothing was over the top, giving us any reason to cry about. Um, and we can kind of see where our, where our shifts are and what gearing we're utilizing here at Streets of Willow. All right, guys, that's all I have for you today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's always good to see laps lap times decreasing and going faster.